Americans' Top Post-COVID Travel Destinations Revealed The past year has been difficult for eager travelers and vacation-goers. But, thanks to vaccine developments, there's light at the end of the tunnel. And while stuck at home, we've been dreaming and searching for our next travel destination. New research reveals the most in-demand future vacation destinations for the U.S. and how it differs from state to state. The USA's Top 10 Travel Destinations Rank Country Searches 1 Puerto Rico 580,102 Mexico 476,693 Maldives 312,204 Japan 288,705 Jamaica 269,106 Greece 247,007 Aruba 244,408 Costa Rica 230,409 Bahamas 224,210 Iceland 189,100 Puerto Rico is the most popular destination with 580,100 searches. It looks like many Americans are planning a trip fairly close to home once the COVID-19 pandemic allows. The USA's Top 10 Cities, Islands and Regional Destinations Rank City Slash Island Slash Region Country Searches 1 Bora Bora French Polynesia 555,402 Cancun Mexico 425,163 Paris France 330,404 Dubai United Arab Emirates 293,005 Mumbai India 284,856 Bali Indonesia 242,707 London United Kingdom 227,488 Tulum Mexico 194,099 Tokyo Japan 166,280 Cabo San Lucas Mexico 153,780 Looking specifically at the cities and regions that Americans are most looking forward to traveling to, the list is largely dominated by destinations in North America and the Caribbean. Bora Bora in French Polynesia takes the top spot with over 500,000 searches. It appears many Americans are looking for an aqua-centric luxury vacation post-pandemic. Paris ranks third place with 330,400 searches. The romance capital of the world looks set to be a popular destination for many loved-up Americans. The top five destinations with the biggest decline. Rank destination search increase slash decrease search increase slash decrease percent 1 Hong Kong 124,570 48.8% 2 Singapore 171,580 41.8% 3 Cuba 168,039.2% 4 Bermuda 165,638.4% 5 Thailand 185,131.0% Hong Kong had the biggest decline in searches, losing nearly half 48.8%. They were affected not just by the pandemic, but also widespread political protests in the last year.